Hey everybody, welcome to another Buddy Reviews. Uh, today, we are going to be reviewing a Eagle Industries Yodi Pack. So this is a Eagle Industries Yodi in Multicam. I don't know the generation on this, I wish I did. Uh, this is my second Yodi. I have one in uh, khaki as well. And that one is mounted, this one is not. So this one is getting a review. Uh, they're both pretty much identical. So, what you see here is the front of the Yodi as it would be presenting to you if it was mounted on the back of your plate carrier. You have a pocket down here. Um, it's sort of like a roundish shape to it. Uh, if you saw my last video, you saw my Bullock video, and I covered Plat Attack's version of one of these. And their pocket like this is just a little smaller. Uh, this one's a little bigger. Actually, is a little deeper, and it is... Uh, Decent size. It'll hold uh, pretty much anything you really need to put in here of quick access. A little blowout kit, IFAC. Um, you could throw some magazines in here if you really needed to. Some food. Uh, whatever. Whatever quick access gear you might want, you could put in here. On the face, you have a loop field that you could put a flag on. Give you guys an idea what that looks like. I just happen to have something with a flag on it next to me. There you go. Bam. So now you got, you got a loop field, you can put some IFF. Here you've got actual webbing instead of elastic, like a lot of the other packs that are made from other brands. And they're really far spaced. So you, at first glance, you think, oh yeah, I put Kim Lights or something right there. Yeah, not really. Um, it's going to barely hold your Kim. I mean, it'll stay kind of in there, but not really. They're not, I don't know what they were designed for. I guess just lashing points. You could get a Kim in there, but if I was, if you're going to and you needed it to stay, um, I would definitely recommend putting like some 550 cord on that and tying it down. On the actual face of the beaver tail, you have a zipper pocket here, and it is I think the whole length. Yeah, it runs the whole face of this actual beaver tail portion, and you could. Stuff whatever you need in there. Once you get it inside the beaver tail helmet holding area, um, let's open these little buckles. You have a uh, what is it? Fuck webbing. Ha! Huh? Couldn't think of words. Uh, webbing little daisy chain going up, down each side, uh, just like on the face here, and you can use those to t as tie downs or whatever you need. Because again, like I said. Uh, it's just a little too wide in between them for chem lights or something like that. Um, the plat attack one, like if you saw my last video, it's got webbing. It goes uh, horizontally, and that way you can put pouches or whatever in there. The actual beaver tail uh, expandable portion is made of uh, mesh. And it's got an elastic on the top that kind of keeps it down. All right, there we go. This is the tag. So if you want to get one of these to know if it's real, it's going to have this little map modular uh, with beaver tail, Eagle Industries tag on it. On the sides, you have two small, on each side you have a pocket just like this, they're the exact same, little outriggers, and uh, they're sized big enough for magazines. Sorry for all the scratchy noise from the buckles. Uh, mags go in there. You can put a small water bottle. Uh, it's sized enough for quick access for like a smoke grenade. So this is a uh, EG18X. Fits in there perfectly. A uh, GI smoke grenade would fit in there great. You know, something couple fragmentation grenades just little things you're gonna you'd want to grab quickly off your uh, kit you can put in there if you open up the actual pocket pouch itself you've got uh, nothing on the internal face of the pouch let's move the light over like we did last time if you saw the last video kind of let you see inside here uh, there's nothing on the inside of the lid for uh, organization. Uh, the Bullock actually has two zipper pockets there, but you do have a uh, mesh field here. It's like elastic topped, and you can stick, you know, shirts, wind shirts, whatever in there. And then you've got this zipper 
portion that allows you to access a stiffener that's actually in the back of the beaver tail. So you could take that stiffener out and it would be a little less uh, oh, stiff. <laughs> Uh, this is probably for a bladder, I'm assuming, this little uh, mesh portion. And then underneath here, you have three ports to run um, bladder hoses or uh, antennas from a radio. Uh, you could put a small radio in here if you really were desperate or really needed to. And you could definitely put about a day's worth of gear in here. Uh, cold weather gear, snivel gear, um, whatever you need. To hold you on for about 24 hours uh, that's what these bags really were meant for they're about a 24-hour mission uh, sustainment pack uh, really nothing for over that uh, they're meant to go directly onto your plate carrier or be worn separately but just as a 24-hour quick sustainment uh, nothing for long duration uh, you can run straps on them as you can see here you've got these little metal uh, d rings and then at the bottom you have uh, rings here and that's how you would run your shoulder straps i don't have shoulder straps for this because i got a second hand but they're not hard to find i could always get some if i needed to to actually put it on the play carrier you would use uh, these molly straps and you would weave it through and then button them down at the very bottom and you're good to go it's now mounted to your play carrier uh overall really great piece of kit uh a little long when you put it on something small like a JPC, uh, the bullock is probably about three or four inches shorter than the Yodi. And so that makes it easier to put on a uh, small plate carrier, a small stature plate carrier like a JPC or something of that nature. But these things are awesome. They, they are really, really wonderful ba bags. And I'm glad I have the two that I do have. And I really would like to get uh, another one, actually, in Ranger Green, because these are just wonderful. The You can load them up for, especially if you're running with the straps, you can load them up with just 24-hour mission essential stuff and have it ready to rock and roll, ready to go, and then, bam, on your kit. If you're able to rig it up with a QD function, even better, because then you can just take it off and take it on and put it on as needed for the mission uh, itself. I hope this was a uh, informative video. I didn't go as deep into it as I could have, but I just wanted to touch on the highlights of what the pack has and what it can be used for. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate uh, every one of you who takes the time to view my stuff and all the people who have subscribed. I really appreciate you. As always, get out there, play some airsoft, use your kit, know it, love it. It's It's just best part of the game in my opinion. Have a good one guys.